Maxi Man Show. I am here with Tyler Rodriguez. And so, Tyler, I have a couple of questions for you. Yep. Uh, incredible performance tonight uh, at the Women of uh, Men and Leagues Club. It's such an incredible place. And Tyler did such an incredible performance. So, I just want to say first, my very first question uh, how did you think of this place? How did I get into singing? So, I kind of, it sounds very cliche, but I, I grew up singing, so I might father. Things, um, and I sort of grew up around music and, um, yeah, just, as soon as I, as soon as I was old enough, I think I had singing lessons, I started with piano lessons, but just since then I've absolutely loved the music, so continue. So for a very next question, so with the whole music industry, what does like performing music mean to you? Performing music, what does it mean to me? It is something super special because you have people, I mean, there's venues where people don't really know you're going to be there or there's venues where people come in especially to see you and I think the, the most beautiful part about that is you get to either sing someone's favourite song or sing your own song and people love it um, and it's just so special having that connection with people in the audience that are having a good time and singing along like getting to play someone's favourite song and seeing their face light up is super special to me. So, my very next question. So, if you could work with any top three music artists in the music industry, who would they be in my house? Okay, alright. That's a big question. Top three? Only three? Only three. Alright. I'd say my number one would have to be Luke Holmes. I'm probably one of his biggest fans. If anyone wants to challenge me, challenge me that. Probably Luke Holmes. Uh, who's someone else I'd love to work with? I would love to work with Casey Chambers. I think she is an incredible um, role model for Australian women, um, especially in the music industry, especially in the country genre. Um, third person, this is a big one. I love doing harmonies, and if you've had Chris Stapleton and his wife do harmonies, I'd love to one day do that. If I can replace his wife for one song, I would. I would. So, my very next question. So, what advice would you give someone wanting to start out in the music industry? Okay, well, um, I feel like I'm just a baby in the industry as well, but um, that comes with pros when giving advice. I would say stick at it. Stick at it. It's hard work and it's, it's you're working 24 7, but if you love it, it doesn't feel hard. Um, you just, yeah, get out there, put yourself out there, get as many gigs as you can in front of as many people as you can, so yeah, that would be my biggest question. So, I'm sorry, next question. So, what are like the positive and negative sides into the whole music industry that you find? And, yeah, how do you get through those like negative questions? Oh, Alright, um, there's definitely like a lot of setbacks, like obviously, especially when you write your own music, it's always a big challenge and a big fear releasing something or writing something and playing it to an audience they don't like.